Hey YouTube, it's Machine 15 here. I just thought I'd make a quick video talking about this Xbox 360 that had the E75 error that I fixed in my previous video. Um, as you know, it had a problem with the, the uh, Ethernet chip at the back here. I had to reset a new one in. Um, and it was working fine for about a month after that. But recently, just last night, it has a new issue now. And um, this issue is the Wi-Fi adapter will not connect. Now what will happen is, this adapter will just keep on rebooting itself constantly and um, the results of that is it'll connect to a network and then it will disconnect from the network and it'll happen continuously. It just keeps on restarting. Now, this issue does not happen on the front USB ports which kind of puzzled me. Um, yeah, um, so I was thinking about it for a bit and I think that it may have something to do with why the Ethernet port wasn't working. I was thinking the Ethernet port wasn't working because of those components that were missing that I showed in a previous video, but maybe it was more serious than that, and um, it resulted in the USB port having some damage done to it. I don't know if that's true or not though, because it was working fine for about a month and then this issue starts happening, but maybe um, that um, contributed to this USB port having problems. But either way, it's just going to keep on rebooting, and there's nothing else it'll do. But I found a way to work past this issue, and I'm going to show what that is. So, yeah, it's just going to keep on rebooting, and I know why it's doing it. Now, for USB 2.0 ports, and, well, any USB port, really, unless it's uh, 3.0, it'll usually have, um, uh, it'll usually have 5 volts ground and the data line. So for this, I think the ground and data line are fine. Um, it's just the power, it's not getting the full 5 volts. So since it's not getting the full 5 volts, it can't really stay on. And it'll just keep on restarting. Um, but in order to get past that issue, what I have done is... I remember that I had this thing from a long time ago. It's a Rock Band USB 2.0 4 ports hub. Now this would come with the... Um, the whole set, like the whole box set you'd get from Walmart, um, you know, it would have the drum set, the guitar, and the mic, and all that. And the reason why it would come with this is because the Xbox 360 wouldn't have enough ports for all the instruments. So, yeah, you know, it had two at the front, one at the back, and you have the mic, bass, um, lead, you know, the drum set, so you wouldn't have enough USB ports. So they give you this, and it, it takes in 5 volts directly from the wall. So, um, I didn't actually have the correct power supply, I lost it, so what I did is, I found one of the ones, one that was the right size, and I found, um, one of the power supplies that goes in the wall, that was the right voltage, and I spliced, like I cut the wire, um, that, for, that goes in, because the other one had a bigger wire, and, um, yeah, I, I cut them, and I, I, uh, spliced the wires together, uh, so that I could use it on this, and, um, as you can see, the, I got my USB flash drive plugged into it, and it is getting power, it's working just fine. And, um, if I plug this into the back here, and then if I plug this into the USB port here, you can look at the light, it's plugging a flash about six or seven times. But what we're looking for is we're we're looking for it to just stay um, solid green, because before, as you've seen, it was just flashing. So there we go. It's, it shows all the networks here. And look at this. It is now solid green. So that's exactly what we're looking for. It's not restarting anymore. It's just sol solid green, and it shows all the networks. So it's working completely fine now. Um, for whatever reason. I don't know what exactly caused it, but the power for the USB port in the back, um, it just isn't all there. So it'll it'll have enough power to turn the Wi-Fi adapter on, but it won't have enough power to keep it staying on, uh, which is a problem. But like I say, the front USB ports are fine, and I can even plug a guitar in here, like a, um, a Guitar Hero guitar, um, any other thing like that, and it'll work just fine. Like even an Xbox 360 wired controller can be plugged in there and it'll work just fine. So I guess this Wi-Fi adapter just needs more power than those types of things. But using this um, four port hub, 
it seems to have worked around that problem and I don't need to worry about it anymore because it's the data was still being passed through the USB port. The only problem was it wasn't getting enough power. And since this gets power from the wall and not from the USB port, I don't need to worry about that. So that's good. Now I can just clip this on the back again and we're set. So uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll uh, post more if I have any updates or any other things I'm going to be working on. I'm not quite sure I'm doing um, for now, but I will uh, keep you guys posted with more videos. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks.